Now today I thought let's do some island hopping in the Caribbean. Obviously there are quite a lot of islands that we can check out in the Caribbean. This is Saint Barthélemy. We have already visited this place quite a lot of times. This is just a pretty nice airport, you know, with this hill in front. Yeah, whatever. But we're gonna do this island hopping today with a 737. You know, normally you use small planes like, I don't know, the PC-12. We have some PC-12s here. The PC-12 is an excellent plane for short runways. You would also use a Cessna Caravan a lot here, but we got a 737. This is a special version of the 737NG next generation. This is not a Max, this is before the Max, but this one has some kind of engine upgrade. We have more powerful engines in this one, which you will hear in a second. Now, our first flight will be from Tango, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, J Juliet, to Tango, November, Charlie, Sierra, to Saba. So it has really the shortest runway on this planet. Right, so let's go full power. Let's just go flying, right? Right, there we go. We are just casually taking off. We can rotate in a second. Oh, that was actually closer than I wanted it to be, but we are alive still, which is kind of all that counts. Now let's just go uh, fly towards Saba Island, right? And yeah, let's check out some more small airports in the Caribbean after that. Let's do some, you know, island hopping, but in a 737. I mean, why not? All right, so here we are approaching the island. This is a very small island, but what is even smaller is the runway that we have down here. Now, there is commercial service. There are actually commercial planes flying there. No 737, but... Now, our in-flight meal today will be some rat soup. Let's try not to have the uh, hardest landing ever. We might want to go smoother here, I guess. Oh, wow, we are way too fast. <clears throat> okay, island hopping was a really bad idea, I can see that. Maybe I underestimated this a bit, but uh, let's just pretend this didn't happen. I'm pretty sure taking off is gonna work because, again, we have that extra power. So here we are. Let's go ahead and do a full power takeoff, shall we? Now, when I say full power, I mean full power. Oh, damn. Right, rotate. Just listen to the sound of these engines. Oh, damn. Well, that was quick and easy. Okay, um, let's try landing at some other Caribbean airport. We have a lot to choose from, right? Now, under us, there is another Caribbean airport, but that is not nearly as interesting as St. Bartholomew or something, so let's forget about this one. We have an aircraft carrier down here. An aircraft carrier can also count as a island, right? This is just to demonstrate how good this version of the 737 really is. It will soon come in for a landing. Looking good, looking good. Not looking good, not looking good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, <clears throat> uh, never mind. It, it is looking good. We have successfully landed a 737 on an aircraft carrier in the Caribbean. So this kind of fits into this video. Let's also try taking this plane off. That should actually not be a problem since we have this uh, launching system. There we go. And we are already off. Let's try some other airport. Here's another airport, but this is way too big. Okay, this seems like a good 737 airport. This is actually a small runway. Oh no, but we are fine, right? A hard landing. No problem for the 737, though. Yeah, we're lucky that we didn't overrun because that would have been uh, not so good. It was a hard landing, though. I'm very sorry for this 737. But stop is stop, right? Last 15 degrees. Let's go ahead. That was a very smooth takeoff. Now, our next destination is uh, Tango Foxtrot, Foxtrot Sierra. That is a very special airfield. We actually talked about this very small island on this channel before. I think last time I was here, I didn't manage to land a 737 here. But okay, so we are approaching the airport. This is going to be a very interesting approach, to say the least. Like, the Caribbean islands seem very, very nice. Only the transportation sucks. Because you either have to take a very small plane or a boat, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, rip landing gear, that's what I can already say. Again, no problem for this 737 at all. But we almost crashed into some houses as well. Oh my goodness, I'm very sorry for this uh, 737. But we survived. And as always, let's take off as well. We don't even need the whole runway. There we go, we have a very smooth takeoff here, and we can back to the right. Right, we have successfully departed again. Meanwhile, the island hopping continues. We are just approaching this... Oh my goodness, this is a small runway. There we go. Hey, I heart landing. Oh, if this might get close, this might get close. 
Oh, oh. The advantage of this is that we can, uh, you know, we can unload the passengers. Uh, you know, they can go for a swim, right? And meanwhile, we have to try repairing the landing gear that we broke during the landing, as you can see here. Oof. I mean, there have been harder landings, especially from the Ryanairs. So did this Caribbean video make any sense? P-R-O bubbly not, but... So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night.